Hi Upsters, my name is Diana and I am a nail artist in LA. Jowl nail polish is one of my favorite, but it could be a pain to remove. So I'm here today to show you five different ways that you can remove your jowl. Let's get started. First, we have a method using foils with acetone. So you would want to remove the shine by filing off the top layer of the nail with a 180 to 100 grit nail file. Those number means that it's not too rough on your nails. This will help the acetone soak in and penetrate. This is 100% acetone we will be using. You'll want to soak a piece of cotton completely and then place on top of your entire nail. Next, take a piece of tin foil like I have here and wrap it over the fingertips so the cotton ball stays in place. The foil helps to trap in the heat which breaks down the polish faster. And now while we wait, we can get into the next method. You'll want to soak a cotton ball in this erased jaw nail polish remover from Red Carpet. Next, you can use this cool plastic nail tips. I love these because they are reusable and it saves time because you don't have to cut up the foils into individual squares. Just place over the cotton and leave it for a couple minutes while it does its magic. The third way starts like the first two. You will need to grab the same nail file you used above to remove the shine from your nail, but be careful not to overfile your actual nail bed. Then grab 100% pure acetone and pour into any type of small container. You could use this tray to soak off all five fingers at once, but since we're trying a different method, we will just be using one for now. After it has soaked for long enough, you can use an orange wood stick to push the gel polish off the nail. The fourth way is to use the Sally Hansen's Peel-Off Base Coat. Many companies make peel-off base coats, but we are testing out Sally Hansen's today. There are a couple tricks and things to keep in mind for this method. You will need to remember to apply this before you or your nail artist does your gel polish. The best way to apply is to paint a thick layer and wait for it to completely dry before you begin your gel. When you apply it, it will be white and you will know it's dry when it turns transparent. To remove, push the polish with an orange wood stick starting from the cuticle area. It might come off into pieces, but that's totally okay. It will come off eventually. The fifth and last method we're trying is soaking off with a sponge and acetone. To prep the nail, remember to file off the shine with a nail file. You will grab any small container or jar. I'm using the pink soaking tray again. Use a makeup sponge like this one from Ulta Beauty. You can put the makeup sponge in the container and then pour acetone right on top. The acetone will soak into the sponge and then you will place your finger in the middle. Wait a couple minutes, then lift your finger. You can use the orange wood stick to remove the gel because this method did not take the polish completely off. Now that we tried all five methods, I would say my favorite would be the plastic nail clips. It's my favorite because it saves time from cutting down the foils and you could just pop them in and off then reuse them again. I hope you enjoy seeing all five ways and learn something new. So now I challenge you to remove your gels at home and comment down below which way is your favorite. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys next time.